so most elements exist as single atoms. So if I'm looking at sodium, sodium, if I look at sodium metal, it would be Na. If I look at titanium, if I look under the microscope, it will look like Ti. Uh, if I look at carbon, it will look like C, okay? When elements react, they form compounds, and the compounds are made of molecules. If I look under, under a molecule ethanol, it would look like this. All of them would look like this. Okay. Some seven elements are unstable as atoms. So you will never see H hang out by itself. Okay. You'll see Fe for iron. It will hang out by itself. You'll see copper, Cu, hang out by itself. You will never see H, N, O, F, C, L, B, R, or I hang out with themselves. They're always going to be paired up with uh, an, another atom of the same species. So when I say hydrogen, just think H2. When I say titanium, think Ti. When I say oxygen, think O2, okay? The natural way for oxygen to exist is O2. There is no O. O doesn't exist as a stable compound. It doesn't exist. O2 is what is a natural way for oxygen to exist, all right? Sulfur will exist as S. So if I tell you to think of sulfur, it's cool. You can think of S. But if I think, if I tell you to think of bromine, you have to think B or two always. Okay. And this just happens to be that these are all the group seven guys: F, C, L, B, R, and I. That's a nice thing. And these are the, the they they attach. So if I look at the periodic table, it's this: uh, N, O, F, C, L, B, R, I. These from from seven to nine and then down. And H, just because why not H? Okay, these are known as diatomic molecules. And yes, you should memorize, you should definitely memorize these. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about uh, terminology and we're going to talk about uh, nomenclature in a second. So we talk about molecular compounds, so H2O, you know, NH3, whatever, that we can write the, uh, the, formula, uh, the formula for them. Uh, there's known as the molecular formula. So H2O2, which is uh, hydrogen peroxide, it's this. Uh, you have empirical formulas. Uh, these are just taking the, 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 the smallest ratio possible here. So it would be H2O2, the smallest ratio would be HO. I'll give you examples in a second. Uh, and then you have structural formula. That's, that's what they actually look like. That's how they hold hands. H is holding hands to O and O to another O and O to another H. It's not H and the H together. H2, it's not H, H, O, O. It's H bonded to O, bonded to O, bonded to H. So this is known as a structural formula. This is known as a molecular formula. N normally you'd see molecular and sometimes structural. Empirical, not really that useful, but sometimes it shows up. So let me show you uh, some empirical formulas. Uh, I will give you molecular formulas and you tell me what the empirical formulas are. So determine The empirical formula, let me see how much I have here. Ah. For these. Okay, so if I gave you uh, sugar, glucose, the empirical formula for this, you divide everything by six. So it'll be C, H, 2, O. It's the smallest ratio of the elements. This is the empirical formula. This is the molecular formula. This is the empirical formula. The molecular formula is C2H2. The empirical formula would be CH. N2O. N2O. It's the smallest one already. H2O2, which we just did. HO. Okay? NACL. Well, NACL. 